From the Play With Life campaign to the recent promos for the seasons of Selves with brand new kits, Sims 4 continues to market itself as a game that's dedicated to community and connection. And now, a recent acquisition through EA tells us one specific way that ties into my prediction about how we could get a band or music pack with online features. Before we go ahead and get into the speculation and news, my name is Simmer Aaron. I cover Sims 4 news, speculation, and info videos, as well as Paralyzed. And my question for you today is, would you want something like this in a Sims game, and how do you think it would work? So before I dive into EA's latest acquisition, let me remind you of a pack idea that was promoted in that 2020 survey, which I do think we should come back and revisit often. So it is for a band's pack. Go solo or build your super group. Find your style and perform your way from YouTube celebrity to sold out stadiums. Feel the pressure and demands of keeping the band together, record company demands, and the needs of your adoring fans. So I find that term, build your super group, very telling, and in a way I actually hadn't thought of before. I think it could mean that you might interact in an online way. Some recent news for EA and other past hints and ideas for Sims leads me in that direction. So let's go with the latest news for EA and then I will tie this all together and tell you why my theory is we are going to get a band pack with some online features. So as reported by Front Office Sports, EA has filed a patent for recommending and connecting online friends based upon the type of EA games you play. I'll read two quick reports, then tie together the clues we have and explain why I have this theory. Electronic Arts has filed a patent for technology that will make online recommendations to gamers based upon their gaming interests. According to the filing, EA understands how playing online with strangers may not be as enjoyable as playing with friends, and games with strangers often only last for one session. The publisher of FIFA and Madden franchises wants to fix that by approaching games like social media. Interesting. The friend recommendation tech will find the best potential matches for each gamer using an algorithm that adheres to the certain criteria. When players regularly get online, genre of games played, skill level for each game, and device played on such as PC, console, mobile, etc. EA has been growing steadily, acquiring Codemasters in February for $1.2 billion, Glow Mobile in April for $2.4 billion, and Playdemic in September for $1.4 billion, which my next report will also repeat that, so I apologize for that. The gaming giant recorded $1.55 billion in the first quarter revenue, surpassing the same quarter last year for $1.46 billion in that quarter. So the main takeaway here is they are going to do this interesting technology where they are going to try to match you up with other players. I have no clue how it's going to work. I'm assuming it might be through Origin alone, but again, I have no idea what this means, and I have no idea if it will even, in fact, impact Simmers at all, but I do think it does point to something very, very interesting about what EA is doing and my theory overall. The Motley Fool also points out that EA is exceeding its competitors in performance largely because of live services, an umbrella term which can include many things. Across all EA's titles, including non-sports, EA's live service bookings represented 74% of total bookings in the fiscal 2021. The year-round operating model that the industry has been shifting to, where players can unlock new content with in-game purchases, which I might add, live services do not have to include in-game purchases, they just can. And of course, that gives a reoccurring revenue stream for all top game makers. Investors tend to reward companies that can allocate their excessive cash to new growth opportunities. EA was very active in deal making this year. It has completed acquisitions of Glue Mobile, Codemasters, Playdemic from AT&T's Warner Bros. Game Unit, and Metalhead Software. These acquisitions are expected to boost EA's top line growth in the fiscal 2022 to 22 
0.4%. So to be clear, I do not think we're going to get literal in-game purchases for Sims 4. They already have Sims Mobile for that. But I do think it does tie into the general theme. So I'm not going to go deep into, of course, analyzing stocks because I'm not qualified. But it does show why EA is so invested in this term of live services and generally online features. And I do think we're going to continue to see that term for all of their games and for Sims 4. Now again, this does not mean that we're going to get literal microtransactions in our games for Sims, but I do think they're going to continue to expand online features, including the gallery. And we also saw something like the Sim sessions, which we got a whole survey about, and I expect those to continue. So while not the same and as lucrative as in-game purchases, it does tie into that general philosophy. And of course, that leads into my expansion pack prediction, a music or bands pack with online features. And to be clear, online features are not new or revolutionary to the Sims franchise. Notably, in Sims 3 Showtime, you have an option to log in and connect with friends online. One of the new features in the Sims 3 Showtime pack was the capability of in-game messaging so that you can communicate with your Simmer friends while you're playing. You also had Simport, which was a major new connection feature introduced in the pack. This allowed players the ability to send their star performers on tour to perform special shows in their friends' towns. You could also invite your friends to send their Sims for a performance for yourself. And you could customize your stage in your venue with special themed backgrounds. Now I admit I never played with that pack with those features, but it seemed that the reviews were pretty mixed, so you guys can let me know in the comments below if you did play with that and what that experience was like. Now, I don't know exactly know how this would happen with Sims 4, but again, I don't think it's a huge stretch to consider that they might find a way to connect with other players online via concerts in a pack format. We already have the basis for Sims sessions, and we have all these clues that there's going to be some kind of band pack, and I do think that the band pack concept is described in an interesting way. Of course, the Sims 4 engine is much different than Sims 3, and as a safe guess is band packs is, the team does sometimes surprise us. So if they were to do something like this, of course, the online mode I would think would be completely optional, and of course, I could be completely wrong on this. That's why, of course, it's called Sims 4 Speculation. Now, I once posted an idea for music and dance pack on Twitter, and I personally like the idea of a wider concept, and I care more about that than a bands pack in general, even though I know a lot of people would like a bands pack. I just think we could use a lot more dance music interactions, and I feel like just about bands would be a little bit limiting. However, when I think about Sims 4 development, I find my idea very, very unlikely. It's just a pipe dream. But as always, of course, I'd love to hear your thoughts, comments, and concerns. Thanks for always watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.